you know, can what sort of brilliant strategy do we do, or how do we analyze uh, two heads that are that are conflict that are in uh, conflict that are creating fiction? It's it's more of a matter of how can we lower those barriers. And I would suggest to you, if you always approach that, particularly if it's internal in the company, um, it can also apply with the, certainly with the customers on another, another level. If you lower those barriers, strange things happen. People become much more cooperative. They begin to see other views. Uh, they begin to get a better understanding of what uh, the issues and problems that they have. Um, so lowering the barriers, and, and is it a trick? Sure, it's a trick. It's a, it's a, it's a trick folks like me use when you're dealing with systems and, and, uh, like, and companies. It's like the trick where you stir up things. If you get, if the inertia, if a company's so inert that they can't move, you stir up things and it almost doesn't matter as long as you stir them up and you get some movement, then you can begin to, to, to create and to develop things. Whereas if you get everybody stone-faced and, and nothing's happened, it's like be, beating your head against the wall there. Um, so I'm a big, big proponent of lowering those uh, barriers and particularly the communication barriers.